Shortly after telling the parable of the sower and the seeds, Jesus came across a man possessed by demons and healed his illnesses. But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, it is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this man drives out demons. Christ turned and called to them. And when they came close, he stated with a parable, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? And if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your people drive them out? While this parable is evidently Christian in nature and serves to show the power of God, the central idea of unifying your own kingdom also has great value in itself. Throughout our daily lives, many of us attempt to multitask far too often. We'll go 100 miles an hour and attempt to do 100 different things at once, sometimes because we believe we only have so much time in the day or gain something by completing our tasks. However, multitasking in such a way always inevitably makes us exhausted. By splitting our attention between multiple tasks, we divide ourselves into different pieces that are all clamoring for our undivided attention. Whether it be in your professional, personal, or spiritual lives, we do have a tendency to spread ourselves too thin, put our foot in too many doors, and divide ourselves up into too many pieces. And while this has become somewhat normal in society today, it doesn't mean it's safe to stay that way. Jesus's discussion of a kingdom also doesn't necessarily refer to the kingdom of heaven or hell here. Although of course it still does in the bigger picture, but it can also speak to your own personal domain. Historically, a house could mean your home, sure, but it can also be used to refer to your family, legacy, or dynasty. And in more modern times can be thought of as your own life and personal reality. In which case the parable speaks to unifying the various aspects of your life, especially at the foundations. If your house remains split and divided among a hundred different things, it will crumble again and again, no matter how hard you try to keep it all together. In other words, in order to create a meaningful life and experience, your goals, actions, words, and activities should be in alignment with your truest goals and aspirations, the inner Christ consciousness, and they should all fall under one roof. If your actions or beliefs aren't in line or unified with your goals and hopes and dreams and wishes, you'll end up going round and round in circles until your life eventually falls apart, needing to be rebuilt. However, if you take the time throughout your day to step back and take a moment of quiet to reflect on your goals and yourself, then to quote Matthew 7, 25, the rain will fall, the rivers will rise, and the winds will blow and pound the house, yet it will not collapse.